Hello everyone, this is Codmates. Here are the top 10 things that I wish someone had told me before I started playing poker 10 years ago. Knowing these would have saved me countless hours of frustration and loss of money as well. 1. Play more on the weekends. Bad players don't have as much time to play during the week because they have jobs to attend to. They like to unwind on the weekends with a little online poker. The games are always a bit better and these days, try to play more on them. 2. Don't waste your time playing Play Money. I played Play Money Poker for over a year when I first got started with online poker. It did allow me to build a bankroll out of nothing, but it was a total waste of time. Nobody plays for real in Play Money because there's no risk to them. Once you have the basic rules of the game down, you should move on to the very lowest stakes. 3. Start from the lowest stakes. Don't be a hero. Even if you have been killing it at your local casino in the $1-$2 dollar game, chances are NL tell. Even if you have been killing it at your local casino in the $1-$2 dollar game, chances are NL town will still present some difficulties for you. Online players on average are way better than their live counterparts. Check your rigor at the door and start at NL2, this is one two cent. What's the rush anyways? 4. Tight is right. I actually did figure this one out very quickly. Most of the bad players play too many hands. So all you have to do is play better quality hands than them and you will have an immediate and huge advantage over them. I recommend playing the top 20% of your hands in a 6 max poker game, the top 15% of your hands in a 9 max poker game. 5. Use position. The immense power of position cannot be overstated in poker and it takes some people, including myself, years to fully understand this. Have a look in your poker tracking program and look at your win rate by position if you don't believe me. You should be using position to take down pots on a regular basis. 6. Exercise proper bankroll management. For cash players, 20 buy-ins at the very least for a recreational player. 40 or 50 for a professional or semi-professional. For tournament players, it's 100 and more buy-ins. This minimizes your chances of ever going broke and having to redeposit. 7. Read poker books. I think poker books can be very important to your development as a winning poker player. A lot of poker books you can find at our website en.cardmates.net. 8. Review your poker sessions. It's very important in the early going of your poker career to review your sessions. It's easy to get off track when things don't go your way and make poor decisions. By regularly reviewing your decisions in key ports, you will force yourself to make sure that your current knowledge base is getting implemented at the tables as often as possible. Reviewing your sessions during prolonged downswings and getting a second opinion is also vitally important. 9. Never play drunk. You should never play poker while intoxicated because your emotional control and ability to make logical decisions are both heavily compromised. You're putting yourself at a severe disadvantage. There's a good chance that it will not end well for you. Don't worry if you have done it in the past, I have too. Just make sure that it doesn't ever happen again. 10. Poker is all about the long run. Look guys, this game will drive you absolutely mad on a regular basis. Believe me, as a 10 plus year poker pro, I have nearly quit so many times. In fact, poker is really just a never ending series of ups and downs. The only difference between the pros and all the amateurs out there is that the pros have a few more ups than downs. Once you truly begin to grasp that your poker results do not matter over a period of days or weeks, and you start playing for the long term, then you will come to peace with this game. The bottom line is this, if you implement a solid winning poker strategy over the long run in poker, you will win. Final thoughts. That's all I can think of for now. I wanted to share as much poker wisdom as I can with you from my 10 plus year pro career. Look guys, this game isn't easy. It takes guts, drive and determination to win big over the long haul. But if I can do it, then I know you can as well. Thanks a lot for watching guys, if you like it, then subscribe to the channel. See you soon!